Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Sorry for not being available for the last while. I've uh, been going through some physical stuff and energetic stuff. And when I'm out and through, I wonder, was that a dream or did it really happen? But it did really happen. And I don't have a lot of information as to what I was clearing, what I was doing, what was going on, nothing which is okay with me now. I used to want to know, but it's okay. But I'm still a bit curious. But anyway, if I need to know, it'll come to me. Okay, so we're doing a choice reading today. I'm going to leave a lot of notes down in the description box about new uh, services and new links, etc., etc., I don't want to take up video time here. If you've been on my Facebook page, you'll see some of it. Um, um, uh, yeah, and write in the description below, and I may write on my website as well. I'll see. So choose from some of these crystals. That's unikite. This is blue howlite. And this is labradorite. Now that doesn't even there you go see that shine i love labradorite look at that oh. and we're choosing a card from john holland's psychic tarot of from for the heart deck so i'll give you a second to choose your crystal and then we'll turn the cards unikite blue howlite or labradorite Okay, so Unikite, oh -ho. find balance, number two. So number two, what it means to you. Balance, of course, masculine and feminine energy within yourself. Could also mean union. It could, well, union with within yourself first, but it could mean union with another person. It could mean union with a business partner it could mean reconciliation with somebody you have fallen out with it could mean forgiveness is done and dusted and lessons learned and uh, friendship being restored or family dynamics getting better so find balance also balance work rest and play these energies have been dense and are dense and a lot of intensity to come. So we've got to find ways of keeping in our own lane and keeping balance and keeping centered. So that's something to work on for you. Now, what's here? Oh, all these symbols. Haven't seen these before. There's an egg timer there, divine timing. There is a bud. I shared a rosebud on my Facebook page and my red bubble site and my Instagram page from my parents' garden. It was a red rose. A ring. Union, engagement, higher level of commitment. Engaging more fully within yourself, with your spiritual, your higher self, bringing it to earth. Mm, a chalice offering a cup to someone receiving a cup of abundance from someone or oh, a book learning more i've never seen these before learning more writing a book reading books gaining more knowledge studying uh is that an acorn the acorn grows into the oak tree yeah, that's a lot now from that card that I hadn't seen in it before. So find balance. Okay, so now we're on to our blue howlite. This, what I have under it is my tote bag from Red Bubble with my um, scenery of Enniscrown Beach. I'll move them up now a bit and I'll show you the bottom of it. See the beach, that's a wall there. I was looking across the wall and here's the beach and uh, the water coming in 
and the blues in the sky are unbelievable up there. They just blow me away, all the different blues. I mean, they are, that's exactly as the photograph was. They're very good company, Redbubble. If you want to check either of my websites to see my Redbubble offerings on different products, fire ahead. They're on both my websites and I'll put the links to my websites below. And this is our blue Howlite card. Number five, Teach. Woo, she has a book as well. So you may have been thinking of, we'll say, setting up a new business where you teach. Or you may be a teacher going back to school and just know that you are safe and protected. You will be guided in these strange times. Your dog, animal totem beside you. Um, dog is loyalty so you may love your teaching job and you will be loyal to your commitment to teach these lovely youngsters in front of you uh, what else am I getting here there's a stairs behind or steps you're teaching people their next step you won't jump up all the steps at one time you are also learning from these young people. You are learning from others. We are always in teaching and learning mode all the time. We will never know it all. And we've got to be open to learning from others. So whatever way you are being called to teach and keep ego out of it, that you are better than anybody else, uh, that you know more than anybody else. Everybody knows what they know. And then we share it with each other and we get a bigger picture. We can't all be learning in the same way or the same. Well, actually, they are the same things we're learning. We're all heading in the one direction, but we're learning in different ways. We're teaching in different ways and we are meeting like minded people or other people that put more of the puzzle pieces together. So whatever way you're called to teach writing a book, sharing a video, writing a blog, teaching a class, holding a workshop, putting a YouTube video up, um, you know, be prepared for people disagreeing with you because as I said, we are all learning in different ways. We have all different opinions, but what people don't understand is we are all heading to the same goal, really. Okay, so that's our blue howlite. Teaching, of course, with blue howlite is also about speaking and speaking your truth, throat chakra. Okay, and our Labradorite, number four. Opportunity beckons. Okay, so where is the opportunity? Is it behind them or is it ahead of them? Is the opportunity here and he's gone over there to think about it and take in the energy of the moon? Actually, what I'm being told now is there are opportunities all around you, you know, so turn around as well. You don't have to just look in one direction. There are opportunities all around you and be open to different opportunities and be open to different avenues of being shown these opportunities and here's the infinity symbol here and the abundance symbol so all is good like opportunities can just show you I know a son of mine took on a job lately and he didn't realize what it was like to work in one of those places and as he had taken that job on, an old job that he had worked on before, we're looking for people again. Um, there's a big turnover of staff because a lot of them are students and young people for weekends and holidays and that. So up came a full time job where he had been working and he's going to apply for that. But he had to experience this new job to understand that the old job was a good job 
and that he, what he likes and what he doesn't like. One job was not interacting with many people and the other job was interacting with customers. And like all customers are not loving and caring. You will meet the cranky ones, but he now understands that it is better to be there than where he was.